Major League Baseball's Hall of Fame voting process is one of the most aggravating things in all of sports. In fact, it's the worst. The best way that I can describe the Hall of Fame voting process is that it's like having a steak, but not any type of steak. A steak that you think about and you get excited for, and you can only have that steak once a year. And then you go and you take that glorious bite into this big giant steak, and then it hits you. You totally forgot that this steak was seasoned with bullshit and trolls, and it was smothered in a nice elitist douche sauce that smells like diarrhea. First off, let's congratulate the Hall of Fame class of 2015. Randy Johnson, Pedro Martinez, John Smoltz, and Craig Biggio. All of them very deserving players. Fingers crossed that Randy Johnson's plaque has a fantastic mullet on it. Now let me explain to you why the Hall of Fame voting process is just filled with complete bullshit. Do you know that there has never, ever been a player, ever been a player, who was voted in with 100% of the votes? No one. Not Cal Ripken, not Tony Gwynn, not Mike Schmidt, not Nolan Ryan, not Mickey Mantle, not Joe DiMaggio, not Ted Williams, and not Babe Ruth. Now baseball's urban legends would tell you this. After the first Hall of Fame voting back in 1936, not one player got 100% of the votes, and that included Babe Ruth or Ty Cobb. In the years that followed, Baseball Writers of America, i.e. the scumbags who do the voting, had made a statement never unanimously picking someone to the Hall of Fame, claiming that if Babe Ruth can't get 100% of the votes, then no one should. Now you may or may not believe that myth, but the fact of the matter is that in all of the years since, no one has ever gotten 100% of the votes. This year was no different. Now out of the 549 ballots that were cast, with each ballot having the possibility to include 10 selections, Randy Johnson was the highest vote getter. He got 534 votes. That number is impressive for Randy Johnson. But can you believe that there are 15 people out there that are part of the Baseball Writers Association of America, whatever the bullshit that is, who felt like for whatever reason, Randy Johnson was not deserving of their vote. Now, if you don't remember Randy Johnson, he's only the guy who has the second most strikeouts in the history of Major League Baseball. He was one of the most dominant pitchers throughout the 90s and early 2000s. Oh, and by the way, I believe he's the only person on record to have killed a bird with a pitch. Which leads me to the trolling aspect of the Hall of Fame voting process. There was one player who received two votes. I, I literally have a headache thinking that this guy got two votes. Aaron fucking Boone. Yes, that Aaron bleeping Boone, who back in 2003 during the playoffs hit a walk-off home run that sent his New York Yankees over the Boston Red Sox to the World Series. Really, outside of that one moment, Aaron Boone had a nice career full of diddly-poo. And if you think I'm exaggerating, check out his player profile that's on the Baseball Hall of Fame website. He has so few significant accomplishments throughout his career that they literally had to list the fact that one season he led the National League in games played. Hey, thanks for showing up to work, Aaron. Oh, and his other big accomplishment, the year he hit the walk-off home run against the Red Sox, that playoffs, he batted 170. <laughs> Uh, now look, this isn't a knock against Aaron Boone. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Hey, he had a 12-year Major League Baseball career, made millions of dollars, has a nice gig on ESPN now. I mean, the guy has a pretty great life. But this is a knock against the two dick faces that thought he deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. You're assholes. And you deserve to have your memberships to the Baseball Writers of America Association of Dipshits taken away. Because you suck. <laughs> But you considered Aaron Boone a first ballot Hall of Famer. First ballot, motherfucker. First ballot. You know what would be great punishment for these two writers that voted for Aaron Boone for the Hall of Fame? Would be you would have to force them to travel to every sports bar in America. Every single one. And they would have to walk up, take a seat at the bar, and say, Hello everyone in this bar. I would just like to let you know that I suck at everything I do. And I also believe that Aaron Boone is a first ballot Hall of Famer. And then what I hope happens is that the trashy bartender who's got her tits hanging out walks over to you and go, you're a fucking moron, and then just kick you right in the nuts. 